Hi, uh, my name is Dave McGovern and today I'm going to show you um, how I'm going to turn one of these, which is a stainless steel liner out of a cheap cup that I bought from B&M, um, into a wood covered cup basically. Um, this is, as you can see, a stave construction. It's ash. This is a prototype. I'm having a go at this for the first time. i um, seen a few YouTube videos out there. So I'll give a big shout out to anybody else who's already posted a video. This is my version really. Um, so as you can see it's eight um, staves cut at a 22 and a half degree angle um, glued together and I need to make that the inside hole big enough that this fits in it and obviously turn the outside um, until it's round and the appropriate shape. So well, let's get started with that one today. So what I'm proposing to do excuse the wobbly hands is these are a couple of scraps that I've turned off other turnings I'm going to glue some MDF um, onto a couple of those turn it into a taper that fits inside those holes and then hopefully that will give me the ability to turn the outside round and then we'll take it from there so as you can see I've uh, turned the outside a little bit just to balance it turn the tenon and uh, it into my chuck. Um, what I used was um, a piece of scrap which if I move that out of the way you can see well I can't quite do this with one hand but that did fit into there and, and on the other hand I made that which um, just a piece of scrap glued on with a tape on it as you can see which fitted into the other open end and was I don't know if you can see that but was fitted into my chuck to drive it and balance it out now I've fitted it into the jaws of my chuck and I'm about to start hollowing it out so we'll see how that goes As you can see, we're getting there. I've uh, hollowed it out and we're getting fairly close. So, just a little bit more to carry on with now. As you can see, I've turned the uh, inside, I've turned the lip to fit it on. I'm now going to pop it between centers so I can finish the outside. I've mounted a piece of ash into the jaws of my chuck by um, just hot melt gluing it onto um, a face plate and then turning um, a tenon on it to fit the jaws of the chuck. I'm now going to turn that to fit into hopefully you can see that the recess that I've made inside the cup. I've given it a couple of coats of lacquer as a sealer and a bit of a rub down and then I'll leave the tenon on the on that so I can hold the whole assembly when the base is glued on. Unfortunately 
um, there's been a design change due to a slight error which I'll just stop the video and then pick up um, and I'll show you what that is as you'll see I've got a nice fit inside there you probably see a ring hopefully on the bottom of the cup that was a little um, dome really with a, um, a thread in it because um, when the cup is fitted into the plastic holder there's a screw that goes through the bottom to hold it in place now I'm not actually sure I don't know if you can see that um, whether that's going to interfere with the base of um, the plug that I'm going to turn so I'm going to leave it oversize turn it to fit inside that groove but if it does interfere with that I can face it off a little bit and I'll glue it also I'll glue it to the top rim I was hopefully going to just insert the plug in there so that when it's turned upside down it, it's like that and you won't see it but I may have um, a design change as we like to say in wood turning so that you can see a small disc of wood at the bottom we'll see how that one works out so as you can see I've now turned the plug and that's um, being glued into the bottom I tried the stainless steel insert and it works fine I've um, just scooped out a little bit of the inside surface of that and it fits fine so uh, we can go ahead with the original plan which when this is glued up and I've finished um, finishing the outside I'll turn that away completely I'll part it off here so you won't see that plug unless you turn the thing upside down so this is the finished article um, I probably realized that it, it would have been better if I'd have filmed every step in detail um, so apologies for that this is my first YouTube video so you can see the finished cut what I've done is um, given it a couple of coats of lacquer I don't know if you can see the shine there just regular lacquer which I bought from Halfords um, I've glued the liner in using um, tight bond liquid polyurethane glue which foams up um, on contact with moisture so I'm hoping that will not only glue it in place but also have foamed up and filled any gaps on the inside to help with insulation and I've put a bead of um, silicone sealant around this edge here before gluing it together because the tight bond expands um, this was a push fit the liner but I held it in place with a couple of clamps just to stop um, you know if there was too much expansion from it pushing the liner out all in all um, it's the first time I've done any segmented turning of the staved variety you can see that um, I've burnt the name on of my brother-in-law who this is a present for um, using a pyrography uh, pen or whatever you, whatever you call them I'm not entirely happy with the finish on that but it was my first go and as it's a present and a freebie um, I'm sure you won't be too disappointed all in all um, not that difficult a project um, next time I will uh, make sure that I film all of the steps um, this is a bit hit and miss because it's my first go as I say and having now completed it I realised that probably a lot of things that I could have filmed but thanks for watching I hope you uh, enjoy what you've seen and uh, if you feel like giving it a like I'll be mightily pleased thanks